Greetings friends and welcome. In today's devlog we shall walk through the shadows of our first three prototypes. Let's get started. The Cartesian Empire was the first project that we developed during our college days. Because we had no experience in creating video games, we wanted to create something visually interesting, not necessarily an amazing gameplay experience. You play as Malthus, a strong warrior that finds out that his tribe was captured by the Cartesian Empire. You need to free the prisoners and make the enemy withdraw. It was a journey filled with gems for us. We had so much fun developing the prototype. But it was never something serious, we just wanted to see how things work. Through this project, we learned how to draw concept art, how to sculpt, how to 3D model, how to make UVs, paint textures, how to rig, how to animate, use shaders, and many other interesting tools. Project Fruits was another project for college. For this prototype, we wanted to make something different, and we went for a small autoplay strategy game. You cannot order the troops to move after you place them down. The game's main goal is to defend the Golden Apple King. This project was way harder to execute. We had to learn a lot about AI about pathfinding and other essential knowledge that you need in order to make this kind of games. After we completed it, it felt good. Everything came together. The concept art, the modeling, the animations, the shaders, the programming. It was a great milestone for us. The crackling fire cast a warm, flickering glow across the room, and Crowley, now in his twilight years, sat comfortably in his favorite armchair. His weathered hand held a cherished pipe, and as he lit it, a faint, melancholic smile danced across his face. His grandchildren gathered around, sensing the weight of the stories he was about to share. But as he began to recount his adventures, his smile gradually faded, leaving his face devoid of any emotion. For Crowley's life had been anything but cheerful. His past was shrouded in darkness, and the tales he wove were a testament to the cold, unforgiving world he had once navigated. Old Man Crowley was our first real project. We started to take things a little bit more serious now. We played around with a few prototypes and we felt that we can develop games. So the question surfaced, are we ready to make video games? Creating a game it's not the same as developing a prototype. When you want to finish a project, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of decisions to be made. And that is not an easy task. Even a small game takes a lot of time to develop, but Old Man Crowley was way out of our league. This was the first game where I dedicated a lot of time developing the story. The scenes, the beginning of the game, the ending the journey in between, and everything was done to the decimal. I could see the characters, the story being developed, the enemies, the gameplay, everything was smooth. Well, only in my head. The game's execution was not what I expected. The characters didn't look as good on paper. The world did not take the shape I envisioned, and little by little we fell behind and failed to deliver on the game's original vision. When you have no experience expressing yourself to others about your internal thoughts, it makes the developing cycle hard. In our first prototypes, the final result was far from the truth as well, but I accepted it because they were merely prototypes and we were still learning. 
Because Old Man Crowley was our first serious project, I failed to understand that making a serious game it's not about having the best story or the best characters. Making a game it's about focusing on the essence. The core of Old Man Crowley was a top-down game, a Diablo-like game, but the gameplay was supposed to be slow and heavy. Each bullet counted, the resources were limited, you explored and made friends that helped you along the way. That was the core of the game, not the story itself. There are games out there that are so good and they have no story whatsoever. They only have pure gameplay, fun mechanics and interesting enemy patterns. I learned the hard way that a game is not a story driven entity. A game can be anything you want. As long as you have some rules in place, you can create anything. In the next devlog, we'll talk about more prototypes. Until then, stay safe riders and take care.